let's go all the way back to the beginning. You mentioned it's such a big community now, but you started, you know, just before COVID or, you know, at the very start of COVID 2020. Why did you start this group? So Subtle Asian Baking or Saab, as uh, the members affectionately call it, is a COVID baby. It happened in (laughs) early 2020. So I was on my Back then, it was an annual trip to Japan that I take with my husband and my son and sometimes with my uh, best guy friend, Eddie. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, Going to Japan, February 2020, right when COVID was happening all across Asia. You know, we had that cruise ship in Japan. Everyone was scared. My family and friends told us, don't go to Japan. We booked the trip already. We brought some face masks with us. We went there. We had a great time. We didn't bring Mm -hmm. COVID back. (laughs) (laughs) And then, you know, um, coming back here, it was March 2020, um, COVID started happening in Washington state. So now you had yeah. our lockdowns, our isolation, we were all working from home. Yeah. I, I stood there in my kitchen and I was like very nostalgic for all those delicious foods that we had mm-hmm. in Japan. The chu, uh, cr- uh, chu crumbs, right? The chu cr- cracklin, and then all the, the parfaits that we had, the beautiful... Yes. Um, mochis, like Mm -hmm. Japanese cheesecakes, milk bread. You know, I wanted to eat all of that again. But all the Asian bakeries are so far from us in Renton, Washington area. I have to drive and I hate Mm. driving. So I thought maybe (laughs) I should start baking more, right? Maybe I should start baking Asian goodies that I love to eat, like my egg tarts and my mooncakes and my Mm. my mochis and so forth, right? I love that. Um, So that I don't have to keep driving. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And then I Googled online. I was like looking for Asian baking communities, Asian baking websites, Asian baking recipes. You you have like websites here and there, right? Um, you know, Just One Cookbook, Walks of Life, but you don't have this collective community where you could bounce ideas off of each other. Let's say I want to know how to make an egg tart. Do I put lard in it? Do I put do I put pig fat or whatever, right? Um, yes. I wanted inspiration. I wanted to be I wanted to talk to other bakers who want mm. to bake the same way I am baking. I don't yeah. want to just keep baking banana bread because I had so many bananas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, short story, Sharon, the the idea just was, like, a, kind of a spur of the moment. I just, I was like, okay, let's just make a group. There was no subtle Asian baking. There's subtle Asian mm. cooking. There's subtle Asian traits. Yes. And, like, so many Asians on Facebook are on one of these subtle Asian communities. So mm-hmm. I thought, why not make subtle Asian baking? Yeah. Invited like a hundred of my closest friends um, and went from a hundred members to like a few thousand members in weeks. And then by December 2020, we had like 60 plus thousand members. We were featured on Eater. It just kind of blew up. Yeah. Yeah. It just kind of blew up from, from nothing. Why do you think this community really blossomed during COVID? I think one is because we were all nostalgic for our, our you know, food of our childhoods. We were mm. all stuck at home. We all wanted to bake. We all wanted to like f- feel that feeling again of having a fresh egg tart in our hands or having dim sum with our families or yes. spending Lunar New Year together. But most of us were spending our birthdays alone. You know, mm. we wanted that Asian bakery fresh cream cake. Like yes. I was thinking about the one that my grandma made me when I was five years old, right? Yeah. So I think a lot of people, you know, had more time. They were at home. They're not hanging out with other people. They want that connection again. They're hungry for this food. They're nostalgic for it. So the yeah. community really spoke to them because there yeah. were so many like growing bak- bakers who were growing their own communities as well. Like a lot of people who started in 2020 baking, they've become very big themselves. Like we had, we have uh, Celinda of Macanom Nom, who's like the macaron queen now, right? Mm. Um, and then we connected with um, Kim, who, who makes beautiful chiffon cakes of Kim and Possible. Uh, Kim Possible. Mm. so we were all just like growing and inspiring each other and connecting with each other while we were all feeling probably isolated and alone Mm. and frankly hungry and gluttonous like me you know (laughs) I just want to eat delicious Asian baked goodies of course of course I mean in the intro of this app I've literally said I hope you've all eaten because today we're talking about a lot of yummy food so I can relate with that you know we're all hungry for these for these foods for these recipes and it's funny you mention nostalgia because I'm I'm also a part of the group and although I'm not a baker myself, I love scrolling through all the recipes yeah. and follow the Instagram and the TikTok and I love looking at all these foods. And for me, I've realized 
you know, growing up, I used to go to all these Asian bakeries where they used to sell like pineapple buns or those paper wrapped sponge cakes, Chinese egg tarts. And it's that familiar scent of, you know, that sweet bun, that sweet Asian cakes and bread. And I feel like being in a group like this really brings back those memories. And yes, absolutely. Yeah. And it's, you know, childhood memories, but it's also somewhat connecting to your mother culture. You know, that was something my mum took me on the weekends and it was something I really looked forward to. So seeing all these recipes on the group, as well as, you know, super innovative stuff on there as well. Um, it's very, very nostalgic. For those um, listening who aren't a part of this group, honestly, search them up on Facebook. Where have you been? <laughs> um, you'll get a rush of memories. So <laughs> yeah, definitely a great community to be a part of.